In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install iTunes on Windows 10. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to scroll down and you then need to select Windows next to looking for other versions. You can install iTunes from the Microsoft Store but in this video I'm going to show you how to do it using the iTunes setup.exe. So we now need to click on download iTunes for Windows, but you've got two options. There's the 64-bit option and the 32-bit option. So if you've got 64-bit version of Windows, select that option. If you've got 32-bit, then select the 32-bit version. If you're not sure what version of Windows you got, then I will put a link in the description below to our website where we have the steps of finding out what version of Windows you're running. So you now need to go save file, so once iTunes has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file and you then need to go next and you can now choose from a list of options. You can choose if you want to add iTunes shortcut to your desktop. We can also set iTunes as our default music player and we can also keep iTunes up to date automatically. So once you're happy with the options you selected, you can then choose where you want to install iTunes to. I'm happy for it to be installed in my C drive. Once you're happy, go ahead and click that install button and iTunes will now begin to install. Once iTunes has finished installing, you can now keep open iTunes selected and go finish. And there we go. As you can see, I have now got iTunes running on my Windows 10 computer. So that's how you install iTunes. I hope this tutorial has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If it did, smash that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.